Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on GFL TV, your home of football. So if today is the first time we they see our program, for you we will bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop all over the world. So for now, most out today's news. Our PS Morgan will be one of Arsenal supporters, one of the celebrity supporters where Arsenal gets. So you don't come and say when they advise Arsenal, say me then go sign Memphis Depay so that the guy go come work with Gabriel. So, so what if PS Morgan they talk to say Arsenal need another striker to complement Gabriel Jesus in the striking department. So you don't see the way with Memphis Depay they play for the World Cup. So you can say make them make a that go make sure say they sign the guy. It will come very very cheap. Because Memphis the pay now like surplus the requirements for Barcelona when they did there. Lewandowski the bench arm. So they get many many strikers there. Lewandowski did there and so far they did there. Torres did there. Then Memphis the pay did there. This Memphis the pay said for long come out long time ago. I no one know what they still they do there. So then they try to use the World Cup to revive in career to put himself for the forefront so that many many suitors will see him. So, what if PS Morgan talk say make Arsenal go sign him? I don't know what I want to subscribe to the line of thought. Say make Arsenal go sign Memphis Depay. For me, I don't see that's a bad idea because if you watch that program we will do not too long ago, I mean, they asked about Sato, say how many strikers they available for the market. We still won't sign a striker this time around. So Memphis Depay is one of those strikers that are available to be sold. So if Arsenal go for him, I know they will figure him because how many how many clubs said they're going to look for striker at this point in time. And now we see around the SA, Gabriel Jesus don't get small injury. I'm going to go sign him, better sign him. Highest, highest, 20, 25 million pounds. Back I go carry and give them on a platter of gold. So I just pray they go reason him. Or let's maybe then say, get another plan for mine though, more just the watch. So for those who know they are aware, so Gabriel Jesus don't get injury for that Brazilian setup. So this guy go day. Three to four weeks out, you get. So that three to four weeks out, when good day, he will miss some kind of matches like the match between West Ham and the match between Brighton. Now only those two matches, now he will miss. I know say Newcastle match now the January three. So as of yesterday, Newcastle match now one month. So I believe say that that one, now they will keep and see making come back for. After that one, before we talk about those Tottenham must fall and the rest to get. But you see all those West Ham, Brighton. I believe say if you do not play that, like, if you don't even play bright, if you don't even play themselves, who knows? Because they say it's going to be out for three to four weeks. The one who will not say no go play again, I mean the World Cup. He's not going to be fit to compete in the World Cup again. Even though it's still there for Brazil, Arsenal no talks in making a return. They say may still there, there, may have fun, just like Neymar. May Neymar himself done they recover himself. Neymar go face South Korea for your match. So they say make Jesus just still stay there, stay with the family, which is the Brazilian camp. Just the physios will look at because as that they travel, come out, go to Dubai today. Yes, as that they go to Dubai, go resume their precision training if you like to call it like that. So don't forget that if we go to Dubai, we'll play the likes of Lyon and AC Milan before we can come back for the Emirates, come play a Juventus side. So that's what we are expecting. So uh, Jesus Evan, you know, say you know, we'll come meet us there now. So anyhow, we go be sure most the watchers will be. So we wish have all the best of luck and quick recovery. I'm a William Saliba I don't dedicate in World Cup selection to in stay for Marcel. So you know really reason say maybe now because of the way they play for us now. Let me then select them. So because the main reason we make them choose them for that World Cup squad now, the things we ain't do for Marcel. Now, I believe see now for that Marcel we ain't did, we ain't come get in first call up to France. So many many Arsenal fans. When you vex, so why not put Arsenal name there? Say at least we did a lot for him. He played many matches for us this season. Yeah, everybody can see and I will play some for the pedestal. But so you can't take away the fact that Marcel now put them for the forefront. So everybody can take see and we make the France coach the show can select them on carry and good. So you can't take away that fact again. So wish him the best of luck. I won't be saying making himself no go get injury. That's always been my prayer for all our boys. So make nobody go get injury, make everybody play very well. And come back and let's see what the circumstance of the league will look like. So remember this uh, don't highlight Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> this same Gabriel Jesus again injury as Benzema replacements because even Fabrizio Romano kind of let us to say this rumor is not then supposed to sign Gabriel Jesus, but because of one kind of European passport saga, so they're not comfy sign up. You get so Gabriel Jesus can't end up signing for us now. So now they talk to Real Madrid, don't they ready? I don't get everything we take. To sign the races back, so they are willing to come back for him. I guess 
But the problem is, say, will Arsenal even sell him? Even if they give him maybe like 70 million pounds or 80, will Arsenal sell the Brazilians to that Real Madrid? That's one million dollar question. I know the guy they like 24, 25 years. So we can play three years for us. I will consider him maybe when they 28. I think they never never reach a peak yet. He's still developing. So I'm not sure say Arsenal will feel that to sell him. Because Asta like what they do. Though you know the score, but they hope say in the future you go hit the ground running you get. You get because they say form. Anything can happen to form, you can lose form, but you can still come back to form. But class is permanent you get so now form. Now they temporary. So more you watch as everything they do. Our USA and Matt Stone are on the out of the World Cup as Netherlands beats them 3-1 you get. Even though USA lost, so Matona had a very very nice game. The guy made a lot of saves. Even Matona said from from aside from media settings, call it talk say after they lose, almost say the dressing room was very, very quiet. Like everywhere we just silent. Like the silence was deafening because everybody just you know, do sober reflection. You know, they imagine what could have happened, what could have been, you know, all those kinds of things. Assuming, imagine, all those kinds of things. But the truth be said, they don't lose, be said they don't lose. So they find their square roots. Go back to their mama house, so it is what it is. Am I down slap 30 million euros on Hakan Kala Noglu, which is about 26 million pounds for anybody with the interested in signing this player? So I don't even know why Inter Milan won't sell him because he was an integral part of their squad. We win the league not too long ago, so why they want to sell him, I really can't say. But the truth is, they don't talk to anybody of make offer, right? You put money down, say you need that. They will sell him for you. Maybe they won't refresh that squad because the year before the, uh, this one we just finished. Now they win the league before AC Milan self come winner. So they are looking to win it again. But as it stands now, Napoli they lead the Scudetto race. Get Napoli they very very interested in winning it in this season. But we are still early in the season, so we never know what to go happen at the end of the day. So Inter the reason they want to reshuffle their squad. Lukaku is not firing on all cylinders, so they want to reshuffle their squad. They make sure they play in pole position to win the Scudetto this time around. Well. Which them all the best of luck. Now they might tell that by January shall we know that they're really they interested in this guy. I mean, I just talk is cheap. Our Juventus wants to make Arsenal cancel their loan deal with Marcel for Tavares because they they highly highly interested. So they talk say one of the players where they call Alexandro where they play the left back for them in the commot by January. Don't get suitors who want to sign and the guy saying they leave. So they need somebody to come in, hit the ground running and replace him. So they don't identify you know, Tavares, say this is the guy where they want to use for that same position so I never know whether Arsenal will really really sell him because I think that the reason say Tavares is a good player even though he's doing some pocket of errors here and there now player will say he needs development he needs to play regularly he gets making develop just the way we sell by develop and other people say go out on low come back on develop so I don't think Arsenal will sell him so but my opinion on that too you can never say if you say if the right money come now they will me find square roots we never can tell who we'll just watch so watch for them beat Arsenal 4-2 for the friendly, the indoor friendly with them play for London Colony. So the fourth way they lose them. And I even see oh, they got play, kids are play Marquinhos and some other people. So now Marquinhos and the and I scored the two goals. We make them 4-2. So that one are just indoor, they're not too poor, but they are plenty of people really day around. So now today now we we'll travel go to Dubai. You get so we will play other people so we will see better better performances because the Dubai Cup and the one we will play against Juventus for the Emirates will be very very strong at least by then some kind of men will don't come back like all those kind of partners will don't come back to the Dubai tree so we will see how everything will be I know she won't move they lose any hour most today they inform that's why I don't that is skeptical I say the world will take the play before this World Cup with that we will hit the ground running like that after the World Cup that has always been my major fear but more just see how things they go our Ben White self no follow the team travel to this the Dubai trip where they travel all on travel today because Ben White still getting personal issues only God know what's in really up whether a family get issue a brother and a girlfriend and we don't really know what's up here because every news reporter they talk about this Ben White now just he has personal issues he has personal issues none of us really know what's in really happen so there's nothing we can hold so that's the reason now you know they travel with them go to Dubai and according to the report self we asked that girl they don't even tell us whether Ingo still can't join them for Dubai, so we don't really know what's in the sub. I won't be saying, May God take care of our bank. May you be like saying, I'm something we make somebody buy. May you just do okay. And God will be with him.
Our Tony Adams will be one of our legends. Document Circle the Talks. He makes South Gates. No forget Bukayo Saka, Rhyme Sterling, and Messi Mount. Get it as much as say you use folding, you use Rashford, and you get the goals. Get you are playing very well. Don't forget the people that helped you in this World Cup that started this World Cup for you. See, there's a reason we make you choose Bukayo Saka and choose uh, Rhyme uh, Sterling and Messi Mount in the beginning. There's a reason you get because it shows you trusted them. Uh, more than the rest, guys. So now you say everybody to score because when you check out Rashford, don't score three goals, Saka don't score two, uh, Fodi don't score one, Sterling don't score one. So everybody is scoring. So now you say I want to play Seneca today. This is a knockout encounter, so you need to choose well. The problem is say, if you choose maybe Sterling and Fodi, they're not going to play where people will say, Why don't you choose Saka? Why don't you choose Sterling? If you choose Sterling and uh, Saka, now they will say, Okay, why don't you? So nobody will choose when the local talk you get. So the good team is say England gets so much talent. Some people they have the opinion say England gets more stars, that like they get more individual players than a team. You get and that has always been their major problem. Had they came to the fire on all cylinders this season, it's not playing. The critics are coming out for him. They are calling for his head. Say if I came to the play, why not drop him and start and uh, a Wilson when they play for Newcastle. Give him time, you get. I tell you, the last play to score at all. Even the, and yesterday, the guy get injured, but he tell the coach, say, please start me, start me. I want to play against Senegal. I want to play. Let me play, and maybe I will break some records. Well, wish I'm not the best of luck. For me personally, if you ask me who I want to make him win, my first choice is England. I want to make all those small, small boys, make them win something, especially my Bukayo Saka. When they lose the Italian final for the Euros, I would like making this one compensate himself. But be my wish will come true and then that's do the hard work so i wish them all the best of luck a master they ready to go back for facundo torres and say they don't sign the guy i see this guy they play for uruguay and they play for orlando city so the guy don't come up for the world cup with uruguay so as i don't talk with the agents before in the past i hope so i remember we don't discuss with them so we want to sign this player the player self also would like a move so now the contact say after the World Cup, say Arsenal won't go back for more discussion and negotiation with the guy agents. So that we do the final touches. Come decide, say okay, by January, no time. We'll just come pay him money. So we'll just watch us everything they go. I don't know whether I watch this Facundo Torres when they play for Uruguay. How did you see him play? Do you like the style of play? Let me know in the comment section. If you never watch them, go check for YouTube. If you still know this, I tell you to remember see, during preseason, we we'll play against Orlando City. Now, this boy nice score against us, so if you remember. Our right, Emmanuel Petit said, if you be Arsenal legend, don't come outside, come talk, say, in this scared of England, Spain, and Brazil, in as much as he wants me France win the World Cup, say, nobody like me France meet any of all these people for now. Say, maybe not that kind of final, and I ain't gonna like to meet them, especially that England. Then they fear England very well because England get a lot of talent. See, if they meet, see, anything can happen. See, no give them edge. And don't forget, say, like, whether I guess this is Sandy myself, come and I can't talk the same thing. Saying they scared of this England side and the Brazil side, They're especially that Brazil. Say, you know, we like to meet Brazil at all for now. Maybe not for final shot. Say, if he won't get in way, if he, if it's possible, say, me that Brazil may don't come out to them again because you know, one meets them at all because they are very, very good. So, my dear football lovers, if you know what yesterday, you should check the top left corner of your screen. Go see the thumbnail. Click on so that you get all the Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So, start signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day and game out.